Welcome everyone to this section on understanding artificial neural networks. A large part of this section of the course is going to focus on the theory behind many of the ideas that we're going to implement with code later on. So we basically have the first half of this section, which is pure theory lectures, and then the second half where we actually begin implementing these ideas with code. Let's do a quick review of how we're going to gradually build an understanding of artificial neural networks through some discussion about theory. So the first half of this section is really just theory topics. We're going to begin by discussing how we build a simple perceptron model, which essentially is our copy of a biological neuron through mathematics, and then we'll connect that to the larger idea of full neural networks. And then we'll discuss a lot of ideas that fall underneath a neural network, things like activation functions, cost functions, and then this particular section of the course focuses on just general feed-forward networks. And in order to understand a feed-forward network, you need to understand how it actually learns through back propagation. So the first half of this section is all these theoretical topics. Once we have a solid understanding of these fundamental ideas behind neural networks, we'll be able to move on to the coding topics. And we'll begin the coding topics by talking about the Keras Syntax API, which is the main API now for TensorFlow 2.0 or 2.x. And then once we understand that Keras syntax, we'll show you how to build artificial neural networks with Keras for different types of supervised learning tasks, such as regression and classification. So we'll first start off with some basic data sets, and then we'll move on to more realistic data sets. And a big part of these lectures is actually going to be exploratory data analysis, as well as feature engineering. Once we have a good understanding of how to perform regression and classification tasks with the Keras API for TensorFlow 2, then we'll move on to having some exercises for Keras artificial neural networks. Then once we do that, we'll visualize our neural networks and their performance through the TensorBoard capabilities. Okay, let's get started. I'll see you at the next lecture.